Welcome everyone to another big match preview. We take on Tottenham at their stadium on Saturday at 12.30 kickoff. We're going to be bringing you all the build up to this game, but we will also be discussing the results of last week's fan team challenge. For all you who's tuned in to Friday Night Pie, you know what we will be talking about and we will <laughs> we'll be telling you who ends up doing the forfeit. So, yeah, but joining me today is Ryan. How you doing, mate? Yeah, all good, mate. All good. Uh, glad to be back after the international break. Uh, obviously, mixed results for England. Lost one. Maverick Panos looked like a prime Bobby Moore against us at Wembley. Um, and obviously winning the other day. And then the news today that Thomas Tuchel is going to be the new England manager. So, mm. a lot to take in. But, yeah, glad the Premier League's back, mate. That is it, mate. It's been, been an interesting international break, but like you, I'm glad the Premier League is back. And what a game to come back to. We take on Spurs. And the mad thing is, mate, we've, we we all think we've had quite a poor start to the season, but win this one, we go above them. Yeah, only um, they're only two points ahead of us in the, in the table. Tottenham are um, a very strange team. They're all up and down. They're always all over the place. I mean, I watched them a few weeks ago at Old Trafford. They went there, won 3 0 comfortably, could have been more. 2 0 up, cruising at Brighton. And then the old Spurs kicked in and they lose 3 <laughs> 2. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit of a mixed season. They're a hard team to judge because, look, they've got a, a good manager, they've got some good players there. Um, yeah, it's going to be a it's gonna be a tough game. It always is going to Tottenham. You know, it's a game that um, the fans look forward to. Yeah. You know, Tottenham fans pretend they don't like it, but they do like it as well. It's a London derby. It's a 12.30 kickoff on a Saturday. What more do you want? Exactly, mate. Exactly. And that's it. You know, is it, it's another big derby game. And and when you look at it as well, we're going to be coming into it buoyant off the back of that 4-1 win over you know, Ipswich. And a much-needed win. Yeah. Yeah, a much-needed win. A uh, much-needed win at home, especially. We're, we're unbeaten away, but at home, we've, uh, we ain't won all season. Uh, so it was good to get a victory over... Ipswich, good performance. Um, mm. Your four top players getting on the score sheet. So it was an all-round great performance. Um, there was moments in there that you look back on and think we could have done a little bit better. I mean, Ariola, you know, should have done better for their goal. Yeah. Paqueta yeah. shouldn't have been knocked off the ball as easy as it was. But look, it's still a great victory. And hopefully we can keep that momentum running going, going to Tottenham on Saturday. That's the thing, mate. And also, you know, you've got to look back, like you said, with their, with their shaky, shaky back line. You know, how they, how they fell apart in a way against Brighton. You know, Brighton are a good side. They've had a great start to the season. But when you're 2-0 up at any team, you know, you should be throwing away a two-goal lead. And, and like you said, mate, Spurs have, got, Spurs have got habits of doing that sort of thing. But we've got to capitalise on it. You know, we need to start strong again. You know, we started really well against Ipswich scoring in the first minute. And then still conceded within five minutes. You know, it, that that has to be a worry for, for Lokwategi now. Yeah, definitely, mate. I mean, look, as you said, uh, Tottenham at the back. I mean, you know, uh, Van der Ven, obviously, we know about his pace. But sometimes he looks a little bit, you know, they, they don't look together at the back. Mm. So we can get at them. We've got the forward line to do it. But then it's a bit similar to us because their, their forward line could punish our back line because... Yeah. We ain't looked that great all season. I know Tadebo now is starting to get match fitness, looks a lot better. Great performance against Ipswich. Kilman's been good all season. Wan Bazaka, he's had a bit of a mixed start to mm. his West Ham career. Um, and obviously Emerson as well. So it's it could be a it could be a high scoring game, this, you know. It could be a, a three, four, three, three all. You know, there could be goals in this game, but I've said yeah. that, it'll probably be nil nil now. But you say yeah, you probably jinx that now, mate. It's gonna be a nil nil four. When I look at the way they set up, you know, they set up with a, like a 4-3-3. Three, 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 and their their forward three is uh, obviously Solanke up top, Johnson and um, Werner, mm. you know. So, they've got a decent attacking lineup. Um, it's going to be a good game. It's, you know, with us, though, you know, we have to be on it from the start. I it's a so. tough place to go to. I know we, we won there last season. We got a good result there. Um, but apart from the when we won the first team to win now, when we beat on 1-0 a few years ago, we haven't had really great success there. So no. it's going to be, um, it's going to be a tough game, but I'm, yeah, it's a game I'm really looking forward to. 
Yeah, mate, I'll always do. These are great. Like, London derbies are always something special to enjoy with football. And I said Spurs, they're always that, that extra needle to it put on by their fans because they keep calling it our cup final when they go on about it more than we actually do. So it's always an interesting one. You know, look, they've got, as you said, mate, they've got some top talents, some top players. You know, you look at that front line and you, you didn't mention Sun. I know he was injured, um, I think, for the game against Brighton. He, he he was injured for a missing. You know, if he's back available, he's a player that likes to go against us. So there's a lot of top, top quality players there. I think I think he might be out for this game. I, I think he so. might be injured. Yeah, and I think uh, Richarlison as well, um, which, as you said, Son always has a great game against West Ham. So it'll be a big bonus for us if he's not fit mm-hmm. um, obviously Spurs fans will want him fit but if he's been out you know he might not be back I don't think he'll be back in time um, yeah. for this game which is which is good for us but look Solanke we know about him from his Bournemouth days he's a good striker Brennan Johnson uh, he's a player that I rate highly he's, mm-hmm. he's starting very well for, for Tottenham yeah, um, yeah. and obviously you look, you look at they've got Kulazeski, uh James Madison you know they've got players that can can hurt us in in to, in the key areas. So hmm. Army Field, um, whoever starts the game, they have to be on it. They have to be on it from the start. See, it's gonna be a good battle. Yeah, and and this is the thing, mate. And this is what we get to when we talk about the start in eleven. You know, I think I think that you know as much as it was a good performance against Ipswich, I think you know it was good to see the consistency of the same side as well. You know, playing the two. Uh, you know, the same starting eleven that we saw against Brentford and against Ipswich. We were we were talking about this in the build up to the game, saying, you know, we've got to start seeing some consistency in the elevens, the partnerships that we want to see flourish, you know, the Tadebo and, and Kilman learning more about how they play together and, and and you know, getting that pairing up and running. You know, and that's that's the thing. But you know, when we when we go into the midfield, I think there may need to be changes in there just to deal with the pace and quality that that um, Tottenham possess in the attack, you know, because as we, we've come unstuck before, you know, you look back at the Chelsea game, we come unstuck there just because of that little bit of pace and movement that them, their attacking minded players have got, very similar to what Tottenham have got, in my opinion. Yeah, 100% agree, mate. Uh, we need to get a bit, bit more in midfield. As you said, I think against Chelsea, we were ripped apart. Um, Ipswich at times, you know, they had a little bit of the run in midfield. You know, you need someone that's going to be in there to put the tackles in, win the headers, you know, and you've got to stop the players like Madison on the ball, mm. you know, feeding them into the front line. So, it's as I said, mate, it's a, it's a game that, you know, I never look forward to, to this sort of game uh, for two reasons, because I don't like losing at Spurs and I don't like listening to their fans go on about it. Yeah. Um, but it's the same for them, like, because we go on about it if we win, you know. It's it's a it's a London derby. It's it's the fixtures that you know you look out. You always look out for the London derbies, um, and this is this has got the makings to be a really good game. Um, mm-hmm. As I said, twelve thirty kickoff. You know, live on TV. It's gonna it's gonna be good. It's a good one for the neutrals. Yeah, definitely, mate. Definitely. And as I said, I, I've got a feeling this one is going to be a proper proper cracker. But um, as we said at the start of the show last week, not last week, the week before on Friday night pint. We, uh, we took up the fan team challenge, you know, where we all picked our six players um, to go into the fixtures that were picked. Obviously, West Ham Spurs is is a fan team fixture this week uh, where you go in and pick your six players and uh, you've got a chance of winning up to £1,500 if you finish top of the table. You know, and, and when we look at the table between the four of us that picked our teams last week, we've got the man that finished top and the man that finished bottom. To do the forfeit. So, uh, as you can see with the table on the screen, Ryan, everyone criticised your team on Friday Night Pint, mate, but you finished top of the pole. A lot of people said I had the best team and I finished down the bottom. It's because I spread it out a bit and I used used my head a bit. And um, and as I said, one player that I had in there who's, who's going to be playing for Tottenham is Brennan Johnson. Yeah. Um, and yeah, no, yeah, it was good. It's good to win it. I don't get nothing for it, but no, exactly. <laughs> well, I, I this is it. So, with the, I yeah, with the forfeit, I think you was the real winner. <laughs> and this is the thing. So, um, as I said, I finished bottom. So you need to make sure you check out this week's edition of Friday Night Pint, where, as a forfeit, I underwent singing lessons and recorded a song. 
Now, a lot of people that know me know I haven't got the best voice. I go very high pitched at times. So um, it'll be an entertaining video to watch. So make sure you check out Friday Night Pint for that one. Everyone that played uh, along last, last week, you obviously get four, because West Ham scored four goals, you get four tickets to enter the fan team challenge yourselves to see how long you do. You know, play along alongside us. See if you can finish higher in the league than what we do. I'm praying I don't finish bottom again uh, this week. You know, we'll we'll be picking our teams in the build-up to the weekend's fixtures. They'll be given out on the Friday night pints. So make sure you check out all of those. Um, the link will be in the description below for an early sign-up. In the, There's a link, link in the description of this video for an early sign-up. Um, yeah, so make sure you check out Friday Night Pint to see how I get on with my forfeit. And trust me, it will be very, very entertaining. <laughs> I'm looking forward right. to seeing it, mate. I've, right. heard, I've heard some snippets of it, so I'm looking forward to seeing the final cut. <laughs> this is it, mate. This is it. But yeah, look, going back to going back to the game on Saturday, you know, when, when you're looking at the starting 11s, you know, what, what, what are you thinking for your one, mate? I, I mean, I'll be honest, mate. I, I've only made one change from the team that played against it, started against Ipswich. Uh, I've gone for Ari Arriola in goal. Yep. Uh, back four of obviously wan Saka, Tadebo, Kilman, and Emerson. Uh, as you said, I think it's been good that Tadebo has got a few games under his belt now before coming into this game. I think this is going to be a big test for him yeah. this game. Um, in midfield, I've I've taken out uh, Rodriguez and I've replaced him with Alvarez. So I've got Alvarez sitting there. I've got Suchek and Paqueta, and then Bowen on the right, Kudus on the left, and Antonio up top. Mm -hmm. um, I know uh, Antonio gets a lot of criticism, uh, but I think this is this game suits him. He likes these sort of games, uh, and I think he's done all right against it. Switch, you know, he got an early goal. Hopefully, that's given him a bit of confidence. This game, though, we need Bowen and Kudas to be right up for this. Yeah. And Paketar as well. We need that forward four um, just to be up for this. It's going to be a tough game. And as I said, main man this season so far for me, got a lot of criticism. But Thomas Suchek, mm -hmm. you know, we need him in both boxes, needing winning their medals, you know, and hopefully we see him doing the helicopter in front of our fans at the... Uh... And when I say helicopter, I mean celebration where he spins around. I don't mean another... Uh, a, a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just clarify yeah, that. Yeah, mate. But if he wants, to, if he wants to do that at White Hart Lane, or he can do that, I'm, I'm all for that. This is it, mate. And 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 this is the thing, you know. When 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 you look at it, I, I'm my eleven's exactly the same as yours. You know, Rodriguez, I thought done quite well against um against Ipswich. But what worries me is the Chelsea game. You know, where he got caught out at the pace of the game, the players that they've got, you know, he, he did struggle in that fixture. And as much as I said, I want to see the consistent starting eleven. I think this is a fixture where Alvarez needs to be coming back in. You know, because just, just because he's a bit more up to the pace of the Premier League. But also, when we go, you know, we're filming this quite early in the week. We're filming this on a Tuesday. I think it will obviously go out on a Wednesday. But we've still got players... On international duty, you know, Pacquiao's mm -hmm. still playing with Brazil. Um, I don't know whether Rodriguez is with Argentina or not. I don't think he is. And obviously Alvarez is with Mexico. So they've still got a lot. They're still going to play the games that they're playing early hours in the morning. They've still got to get back home. So it's that, you know, again, that scenario of what time they land back into the country and how much prep work we're going to be able to do going into this fixture. Yeah, I mean, look, fitness-wise, unless they pick up any injuries, they're going to be fit enough. But it's just whether, like, um, jet lag and, mm. and you know, that, that sort of fatigue and that. But, yeah, obviously, we've picked our teams on a Tuesday. That could all change by, as you said, by Wednesday, Thursday. So, But if everyone's fully fit, that's the team I want to see. We've only got full Krug, who's out injured uh, at the moment. I don't know how close he is to be to be named in the squad. But I'll be honest with you, mate, it's not looking good. No. Um, it's just another disaster signing, isn't it? Like, but we'll talk about that another time. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, Dan ain't gonna be happy with our lineups being the same because now he can't do his uh vote thing, so <laughs> maybe, maybe you should swap Ariola for Fabianski or something. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I say that Ariola needs to have a good game as well because he hasn't looked great so far this season. He has pulled off a few good saves, you know, he is a decent goalkeeper. It's his distribution that lets him down. He's kicking. Yeah. He's awful. Yeah. Um, he's shot stopping. He's second to none. He's brilliant. But 
yeah, he's he's got to get a bit more confidence in his game. But no, as I said, mate, game I'm looking forward to. A game that we can go there and get something. Um, I don't know what you're going to predict, mate, but I'm I'm going to go for uh I'm going to go for a Desmond. I'm going to go for a two-two. <laughs> Joe, do you know what, mate? I, I, again, it's a tough one. This, you know, they are a good attacking wise. They're a good side, but. So can we be when we want to be, you know? And and this is the thing, and it's just it's just going to come down to. I can see a high scoring game. I can see I can see a three or or like you said earlier, four three something like that. I think for us, the first twenty minutes is going to be key. I think if we yeah. concede with inside that first twenty minutes half hour, I think we're going to be in trouble. I think the longer it stays nil nil, the more we're going to be in this game, and we can go on and get a result, but. I think it's going to be high scoring. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for a free all draw. Fucking <laughs> hell! Yeah, um, goals galore. Yeah, no, no, no. I agree, mate. I mean, and and the main thing is, is that we need to to go there. And you said, as you said, the first 15, 20 minutes is crucial. It's it's where we silence the crowd. You know, um, get stuck into their players. Let them know we're there for a game. But look, I'm no under illusions that Tottenham are going to be well up for this. You know that. Um, Postacoglu is going to be fuming after their last result, you know, losing to Brighton. So he's going to have them pumped up for this game. And look, this could be a game where, you know, it could go the other way and we could get absolutely battered in this game. Um, so, but I, I, as I said, mate, I can see us scoring. I can see us conceding. Yeah. So that's why I've gone for the 2-2. Um, entertaining game. Offer me a 1-0 boring win now. I'll take it all, all day long. long. You know, get them three points, put us up into the top half and then hopefully our season will will fly from there. Yep, that is it, mate. That is it. And as I said, this week, the West Ham Spurs game is a pick for the Fan Team Challenge. So make sure you check out all the details that are in the description of this video and check out Friday Night Pint to see how you can enter. For every goal West Ham score in this game, you get an entry ticket, a fantasy entry ticket for every for every goal or every West Ham, every goal West Ham score during weeks eight, nine, and ten. So everyone that did play along with Fan Team Challenge last week, the fact that we scored four goals, you have had four tickets added to your account to play this week's Fan Team Challenge. So uh, yeah, make sure you check that out. Terms and conditions, as always, on the website. Have to be over eighteen to play. And uh, always gamble responsibly. But, Raya, thank you very much for joining me again. I'm looking forward to this week. going to be a big game. We've got a good event to go to uh, on Friday as well. So it's going to be a, a fantastic week uh, of football, hopefully, mate. But, yeah, thank you very much for joining me. One thing left to say. Come on, you Irons. <laughs>